Hello and welcome to episode 40, the big 4-0. Um, coming off the back of what was possibly one of the most successful missions we've done in this entire bloody playthrough, uh, an absolute classic episode 39. Um, right, so end of last episode, um, we were discussing our issue with um, being unable to research the Shadow Chamber. Basically, we need to go and do that next mission and so contacting down through Australia is our goal so what we're going to do here is kick off our normal research um we'll go for the hell weave i think on the chrysalid corpse here it takes six days so we may as well get that underway um apart from that we're pretty much just going to be going straight into this first mission to be honest with you we've got our supply drop which we do need to go and pick up at some point but really i just need literally two intel to get down here hoping that no sabotage kind of cucks me on the way um we could also, obviously, because this is going to take us a little while to get here, then get here, then do this. So really, we need to keep the Avatar project under wraps, which we're doing a bloody good job of at the moment. Um, but we could also consider going for a Chosen. Um, again, I've been saying that for about 39 episodes, so we may as well actually do it at some point. Um, but for now, let's just delve straight into this. Okay, so retaliation mission, classic, classic XCOM. Um, I need to think about what we want to do here, because Jambo's now back, which is good. Double Ranger, super clutch. I need to remember to do that weapon upgrade in a minute. Um, Locket obviously stays. Um, the issue is I haven't got a sniper now, really. So we could drop the Templar. I don't think it's wholly necessary in this mission, because I've got two Rangers. I'm just thinking as well in terms of like promotions and also having Fernandez and one with their level two bond can clutch up for me. I'm going to leave the tracers on him. I don't think we need blue screens for this. There shouldn't be too many mechanical enemies. I'll leave them on John T just in case. Apart from that, everybody's pretty juiced. However, let's just check loadouts a second. Make weapons available because I think I do have another storm gun with some stuff on it. So I've got a choice here because we've got that advanced repeater from the end of from the last mission. Now this has got a hair trigger and um, what's it got on it? It's got increased crit, which is obviously really good, and it's got a hair trigger, which is not very good. Now Coach's gun does already have a repeater, but it's a shitty five percent one. So we can either upgrade that or we just leave that, upgrade this one, and then we've still got a 5% chance on coach. It's not a very high chance, but yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to upgrade this gun. So they've both got repeaters now, both the rangers. And what we'll do is when we come across a better one for coach, um, I'll just go straight to superior on this storm gun. Everybody else is like locked and loaded. Um, did I have a better gun for him? I'm pretty sure I bloody do, and I didn't take it last time. Right, we've got a beam cannon here with a scope and an auto loader, which is huge. Or we've got a superior scope and an auto loader, so we'll take that one. Apart from that, I think we're ready to go. I'll just check Fernando's has got his god tier sniper rifle, which he does. Um, okay, so we're happy. Um, so now I've got those ability points. Right, remember, we've got 17 ability point uh, points from the last covert. So let's have a look at what we could do from memory from the last mission we looked at yeah we looked at chain shot and actually one's got six of his own ap unspent now chain shot is 13 and rapid fire 25 now rapid fire again is shooting an enemy twice with a penalty of minus 15 um this is very similar in that you take a shot with an aim penalty of minus 15 but if you hit you take another one so this kind of your first shot is full and then each shot after is minus 15 but this is cheaper. So I'm going to put Chain Shot on him. That leaves me with 18 AP. Okay, is there anything else we want to pick up? Uh, also, we need to sort Jambo's loadout. Um, that would be a start. Mind Shield in case the Warlock rocks up. Um, and a, maybe a Mimic Beacon. Just in case, you know, shit really hits the fan. Um, do I need blue screens on John? That's a question. I don't think there's going to be too many mechanical enemies at all here. We could also... Is there anything else we can buy? Like... Um, we have got proximity mine now. 
it's really good these are really good for any missions with like where you're likely to get um reinforcements coming in because you can pop one of these down when they all spawn in they just take a shitload of damage um do you know what fuck it let's buy one that'll be fun um is it more valuable to me than blue screen rounds probably not but it'll be fun to try okay so we've got mine shields across the board these guys shouldn't be in danger anyway double frost bomb acid grenade rocket launcher could actually just in case no, I'm going to keep the Mimic Beacon. Um, so now it's just, is there any other soldier abilities you want to pick up? Could give Coach Deep Cover. Not really good. Hollow Targeting wouldn't be horrendous. Conceal. Being able to reconceal Coach would be actually be quite big. I just want to check there's nothing literally god tier that I'm not checking right now. Um, that we're missing. Scanning protocol we did discuss. Ever vigilant is okay. You get guaranteed overwatch at the end of a turn. Could be clutched, particularly with this gun and the repeater. So that's a consideration. So that's probably our next upgrade on deck. What about Fernando? Has he got anything really interesting to me? Yeah, not great. Salvo, not useful. Kill zone, not useful. I think we might go with that ability on Locket. Let's just check our Reaper here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not really taking good use of that target definition. Meh. Blood Trail. Meh. Hollow Targeting. Meh. Um, I might actually just take that Overwatch on Locket then. To be fair, did I check Jambo? I don't think I did. I got distracted. Deep Cover or Aim. Salvo. Not the best. Again, Phantom would be good. So I could get two upgrades here because I think the one for Coach was 13. So I'm going to get Phantom here, which is going to give Jambo concealment at the start of a mission. And then we'll use the other spare points to give Coach conceal, which is 12. I can't do maths. All right, fine. I think it's best after that. that mathematical calamity that we just get on with it and kill some enemies and redeem ourselves through gameplay okay ready to roll um now i know the warlock might show up on this but the last mission we did the um assassin turned up and i don't think they can appear back to back i think there's like there's a mechanic in the game that prevents that from happening so we might not get the warlock that mind shield kind of stuff might have been for nothing um but we'll see. <clears throat> right. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty close. That first group's pretty close. And we get three concealment. So that's not terrible. My maths is terrible, but the ability is not. This is I can get Jaunty like here now. Um also we've got a good rooftop here for Fernandez in a bit. Um <clears throat> concern would be where's the edge of the map? Is here. So really we want to hug the left hand side a little bit. John is here. I think we just this is crossing this kind of terrain here is going to be annoying. So um, need to bear that in mind um, as we move up. See if we pick anyone. We don't. I can literally get him right in here. There's no that's not cover though. I do want him in. I might just take him to the corner here and have a look. Get a bit of a better view down this this angle here to start with um yeah okay that was necessary there is an arc on down here reason being is that if i like turbo sprint everyone across here the cover here is borderline horrific so i need to think about how i traverse this so what i might have to do is chuck everybody without concealment down here this turn and then they'll have to come up next turn so but who's got concealment 
So coach does. So coach could like just run in here. That would be an okay move. Um, so we're going to do that. And then Jambo also has concealment. Um, where can he get to? He could get in there, which is also an okay move. So this gives me three people across. Um, and then two of my biggest damage dealers as well. And then these guys, I'm very concerned about that. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to pull the pod this turn. Now, Fernando's actually is probably just going to go here because he would he's, he's still going to have shots. So if I just send one down here and lock it down here on their single runs a sec. Fernandez, take this because um, you're still going to be able to shoot from up here. So that's kind of OK. So just hunker down for me. Now, you guys here as well. I'm going to wait a turn. We've got 19 on the board and we only need to save six. And I am a turn away from getting to three of them. Um, so I'm kind of just actually going to overwatch these guys. Just in case there is something down here that comes in. That's inside the building, so we're okay. Two Archons, there is a bit of a cock, but whatever. Resistance activity. Chrysalids, okay. Need to remember the old chrysalids. That's a miss. Now, I'm did that Archon end up on the roof? Or is it just in the... Se I think it's in the second floor of this building. Or it's in here somewhere. So, <coughs> what I might do is bring up these guys now. Because I can. Um, although not into any great amount of cover. There was two. So... There's no other way up close. The other way up is here. I don't want to be going that way yet. I want to get to this group. Maybe let's see if John can find one of them. This is full cover and it would release these guys. It doesn't because he's concealed. So it doesn't really get somebody who's not concealed there. But that's his single turn anyway. It just gives me some vision. I'm going to bring Lockett up to here and see what happens. Um, if we pull a group or not. We don't. So that makes me think that obviously then one is safe to travel as well. Might leave them flanked, but if I overwatch them both, it's not the end of the world. So Jambo, give me this cover. I need to fight basically kind of soon, but no, nothing's dead yet. So I don't need to worry too much. Um... I'm tempted by that position for coach. That's affirmative. Is that going to give me vision of this guy in here? Now, where the hell's he gone? Did he go on the... I don't think he could go on the roof. But there's no... It looked like he flew up, but there's no ledge or anything here. He might just literally be in the room with them. Um, Fernando's, I think, was still okay to be here, to be honest. I could run to there. Can I grapple? Yeah, I'm going to leave Carl where he is because he can grapple actually to any of these positions. So I'm going to leave him where he is. I'm going to leave him on long watch. Overwatch. 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 Let's just see what happens. Oh, he's literally there. Ow. Okay, so we need to deal with that. Long watch. Nice, Carl. Good shot. Three chrysalids, is that? Coming in. Yeah, okay. Gonna get some overwatch shots though, which is good. Oh, lads, it's good shooting. Because we get the bonus because we're concealed, so we killed a chrysalid there. Right, resistance guys, can you light this guy up for me? At least give me some vision on him. Well, they're hitting for six now. It's pretty clutch. I'm gonna have to get in here and do something. Now there is a second arc on that we did see as well, so I need to bear that in mind. Nice. Carl can probably just start like tapping these from the other side of the map. Do you know what I mean? Um, what I'm inclined to do with John here is actually get in um, and see what the hell is going on. Now, I want him to get in and go here, so he's still going to be in cover. I don't just want to get eyesight of what the hell is going on in this building. We've got the Archon here, but where is the second one? Must still be here? Question mark? Um, now we can take a Sting shot 
here. Now, we've also got a proximity mine, which is fun. We won't be remote starting that. Or that. Or that. I can't actually see these. So I've got a lot of remote start opportunities on this mission. Okay, that needs to be remembered. So really, I want to kill this guy. And free all of these. So we could bring Coach in. Um, give him a 100% shot with the Talon rounds up close and personal. That's an option. So Fernando's has got a 100% on this Chrysalid. I'm inclined to just try and drop this. I don't see any reason not to take this shot. Um... Yeah, that's huge. There's one thing I need to bear in mind as well is that this Chrysalid... Now, James is concealed, so actually he's not in any realistic danger. Um, it probably is time, though, to see if I can get a fix on this other um, Archon. It is still there. Okay, so there is an option here now because I can kind of cheese this, really. If I can kill this one in here, I can then um, Frost Bomb this one. And then we'll go from there. I think with Coach, we are literally going to do this. Um, it's full cover for one. He could one-shot it with the Talon rounds and the crit. And if he does, um, it's going to give him uh, untouchable. So fuck it. And we need to free these guys anyway. So it's kind of like a double. Okay, this one now pulls as well. This is good because now I'll get a bit of a view on what's going to happen. Fuck off. Might have to run and gun now with Coach, to be honest. Um, yeah, going to have to run and gun. So I can run and gun to here. Hit this thing in the side. John then finishes it. And we frost bomb this one with one to, f to tie him up. So we're going to run and gun. I'm going to take this position now. Just follow this guy. 89. Now we could Halo Bullets it. Now Halo Bullets does have, doesn't have any chance to crit though. So hitting this would be preferable. And then John maybe can finish it. I've also got Combat Protocol on Lock it. I've got Jambo as well who can also run in if it's really needed. So yeah, take the 89. Talon Rounds crit for 15. Yeah, I think John just kills this now. Um, I think that's the play. 99. Yeah, just finish this off for me. Good. Now, I just need to then deal with this one. So, we've got options. I'm thinking, though, that a Frosty is the play. Archons are the most tricky and annoying units to deal with. So, let's tie them up. Um, for now. That means I can then run the rest of the boys in for really good shots like next turn. So for example, I can bring Lockett here for a flank shot next turn. Um, yeah. Jambo can potentially get a shot on him now. Do I want to piss two running guns this early? Probably not, but also need to bear in mind that this chrysalid is going to run and like probably go for one of these boys so is it a potential we try and kill the chrysalid i don't think i can kill it that would be my issue now i could run in and blade attack this guy actually um which is going to be a hundred percent and i can do it from cover let's do that let's run in um we're spotted obviously um but we can then just slash this guy. Nice. Get some bit of damage into him ahead of the next turn. We just this chrysalid is the problem, but hopefully it goes for a resistance fighter. Yeah, cheers. Perfect. Alright, come on then, lads. Let's uh shoot some enemies, please. Good damage. Good damage. Carl could just shoot this from across the map. She is poisoned now, though, so she's going to die very slowly. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. I'm trying. Um, right, Fernando's. Now I could grapple to here and still have the shot. Do you know what I mean? And so I've moved a bit. What is his shot on it like? Oh, we can't see the chrysalid. Okay, 
I think I can solve that with a grapple. So I can actually grapple to here, which is going to be in full cover. So let's do that. Because we need to make sure that Fernandez stays with the group anyway. Now we can see the chrysalid, I guess. Yeah, and let's just finish this. Do we lightning hands and reload? Doesn't guarantee the kill, but if it, it's a chance. So it, it, it would be nice if it did. Let's just put it that way. Because of the armor, it does not. So we need to take the we need to take the full shot. It was worth a try. We could have rolled three, but let's just finish this. I'll reload next turn. Nice, very good. Okay, so here, Jambo. I think we just take the hundred percent shot. You can basically kill it potentially with a crit. Not quite. Now one is going to move up. Um, block it. You got eighty six. Yeah, go on. Nice. Okay, that's good. So, a little bit of a regroup now. That's three saved. Okay, that's good. That's helpful. So, coach, open the door. I'm going to use this as a chance to regroup here. I'm going to reshadow with John. And we're going to start our scouting mission again. Now, they're all in here. But really, I just need to see where the hell some enemies are. Now, Carl, I did use my grapple to get to there. Obviously, I now want him basically here. Probably one of those two positions would be super nice. Or probably... Actually, that's kind of clutch. So he's going to be double running up to the roof next turn. Let's, however, scout a bit with John. I just want to see what the hell is going on. Nothing much. I'm going to regroup in this building, essentially just around this, this all this cover here. I would again like to get the boys up here. Actually, that would be real good if we could do that. So let's. I'm not going to go. Well, I can go as far as I want, really, can't I? He's like insane. So yeah, go on. Okay. Now, do I have? I'm not actually going to do the really dumb move with coach this turn i'm gonna just double run up i don't really there's no need whatsoever to do this now the reason i'm going to reload here is because halo bullets obviously is going to chew through my ammo so i'm going to reload and then we'll overwatch just in case there's a chrysalid or something that's going to pop out of nowhere but i think we're okay here the resistance should help spot for me as well in fairness <laughs> okay there is a codex that's going to split. Okay, they're all... But there's three... Three code... Jesus Christ. There's a lot of codex. Um, maybe um, blue screens would have been good. Okay, another berserker. All right. So basically, if we can just regroup around the build... This building I'm in. Get on the roof. We're in a good spot. I'm kind of regretting using Fernandez's grapple now. But, I mean, there's not much I can do about it. Oh, she's dead. Right. So, Fernandez is our trouble here. So, I need to reload him as well. Now, I could... I've got teamwork. So, I can use teamwork to get him reloaded. But really, it's absolutely critical he gets on this roof um, as soon as possible. So, up you go, son. Because we need the height. So, his turn is done. Now, again... Not in a massive rush, and there's nice cover in this room. So if we could maybe get Coach to open the door, but I do want to get Coach up as well. I'm thinking as well with John is that if we could get in vision to remote start something, that could be fun. So I'm going to just scout again first. Now there's a remote start there, 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 and... I think it stood next to that. I'm pretty sure it stood next to it. I can't be 100% certain. Because this guy was shooting a berserker somewhere out here. And I just don't have the sight. I mean, there's kind of... Restart doesn't reveal the Reaper. So it's almost like a bit of a Hail Mary and it might do something. Um, right, Lockett's quite far away, but does have a reasonable 
rooftop move actually to get to almost where I want Carl to be that would also next turn allow Lockett to drop down in here which would be good so really I'm just regrouping everyone so I am going to do that that's a kind of a huge opportunity to get Lockett in a good position one can do the same but not quite as good um could get there um I think what we'll do with one I'm going to take him here open the door and then he can maybe get to there um yeah open the door and then yeah i'll take him to full cover here i think that's fine for now i was hoping as well i could get some like line of sight now i could double run jambo to here and see if i can see anyone um how we're not i just don't want to like split up too much do you know what? Actually, conceal and then I can do it and then I don't need to worry. So yeah, go on. Do that. Conceal. Oh, because of the door, that's then going to leave him in... Oh, that was almost clutch. He can get up there. Again, not horrific and he's concealed and he'll stay concealed if I go that way. So <clears throat> It's not horrendous. Again, I'm just trying to get a bit of vision. Like, do we go for this? I on the chance that someone's there. I mean, realistically, when... Yeah, go on, fuck it, why not? Let's just see. Not sure if anyone's there or not, but... There was something there. Okay, that's insane. Great fucking job, mate. That is clutch. Um, so really with Coach here, I'd like to set up an Overwatch shot, probably. Um, or take a top cover. So I'm more comfortable doing that now. Um, but again, I'm not in any material rush. There's like 5 million of these guys and only 12 enemies left. So don't think we need to go too ham here. But go on. We may as well make progress if we can for free. And it's full cover, so I'm comfortable with the position. Nice. We did so much damage to those guys. That's insane. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. I was really contemplating doing it or not doing it, as the case may be. Um, play more opportunity coming up now as well. I do need to crack on, though, because they will kill... They will chew through these guys quite quickly. But again, these guys are going to help spot them out, so I at least know roughly where they are. You should be able to finish a chrysalid, right? Why would you not shoot one of these guys? I mean, that's fine, but why would you look right in front of your fucking face? Just finish something. Could also... Lads, just finish one of these. You'd... God. Okay. What's that? That seems like a... What enemy is that there? A blob. Um, okie doke. So, options. Coach, 74. Fernandez. We need to reload. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm not going to be shooting with him this turn. I will have a look at a pistol shot. But, realistically, he needs to be a bit closer and needs to reload anyway. So, yeah. You just get your reload in, mate. You're good for next turn. So... John, now we could get rid of both of these with... I could also throw the proximity mine. How much damage does it actually do? Six? So it's because these guys will move, but I'm not crazy about it. That would also potentially chain reaction this. Um, I mean, that kills two enemies for one action and he stays concealed. So I'm kind of okay with it. But also, I would like to get some shots onto some of the Berserkers. Now, Lockett can get here, actually, uh, in a single move. So we'll do that. Let's take all our uh, simple moves first. Um, 99 onto that. What the hell? Oh, that's one of these Chrysalid, like nests, isn't it? Okay, let's take that because we might one-shot it. There's a possibility we could execute the Chrysalid kind of weird nesty thing. Otherwise, it's just going to keep spawning them, basically. So, okay, coach. Yeah. 
Jambo can also get down to a shooting position. Um, let's do that as well. Just again, let's just take this, do the simple things right. Now I've still got one as well. To be honest with you, now I don't know when this vehicle caught on fire. I don't think it's going to explode. I'm thinking John probably just drops these two. Let's just keep it like super simple. I've got two claymores, so like why wouldn't we just do this and potentially set this up for an explosion as well? Um, yeah, I think there's just no reason not to just kill two things with one action. And that also pulls them. Now, I didn't reveal John, but again, I might have some shots with the other boys now. Codexes are concerning. Now, one coach can still move twice. That would give me a shot, and I could use hail of bullets to, to hit this. Um, and it's full cover, so we're going to have a look. We're going to do a little investigation. Locket also uh, does not have a shot. Did I double run lock it? I didn't think I did. Now, Halo Bullets here doesn't rip, but it could tear up for one to hit. Could use Chain Shot. I've got Rocket as well. Um, Rocket could, like, do big things here. Um, Jambo could also run and gun. To the... Would he have a shot? So I could run and gun Jambo to here actually first i've then also got a mimic beacon on him if what i'm planning doesn't sort of shake out because there's also another berserker here um and there's yeah what's coach's normal shot like 77 i not i don't like that i think we'll take hail of bullets here let's go for guaranteed damage okay nice I'm probably going to need to use... I don't think I can kill that in one go. I would like to drop that this turn, basically, is my plan. So what we could do is go here, leave us... Wouldn't leave us... Mm, it would leave us flanked, but he's the tankiest member of the team. I could... Mm, let's get Jambo... Let's have a look at Jambo's shot first. Let's run and... I've got teamwork with... Okay, that's an option too. So run and gun, for sure. Give me that position. A hundred percent. So I don't think there's any need to do anything other than just kill this now, to be honest. Or leave it on one HP. One or the other. Uh, so this now makes me think that one... Can I hit multiple enemies with the rocket? No. So the rocket is guaranteed damage, obviously, so it is sort of preferable. And it is a bit finicky at times. I think it's it's massive overkill, but I don't want this thing to live. So I'm gonna probably <laughs> could move him to here. And then do it. But he's in actually. He's in a good position. I could kind of jump up one position. That's probably like reasonable. Um, and then we just rocket this guy straight in the face. Just to get him off, off the board for a turn. That's like massive overkill. But it's a dead enemy. So this guy's going to just smash him in the face. Okay. We do need to like. They're removing enemies fairly quick. Um, so he needs to be careful. It's probably going to be a silent bomb coming out, yeah. That's frustrating. That's four weapon disables. Yeah, they're going to chew through these pretty quick. That's a crit onto this guy. Ow. And you are going to shoot him. That's another crit. That's concerning. Right, I need... Um, how many of these fuckers are there? Okay, these resistance fighters are chonky. 
Yeah, so this is going to keep birthing chrysalis until we take it out as well. I could really do you guys kind of cleaning up a couple of enemies here. That would be super useful. That's good. If you can kill one of these, that's really going to free me up to do things. I need to kill the chrysalid pod as well. Come on. Hit. Yes. Very good. Now, I am. I didn't have actually... Um, Okay, that's good too. Are you shooting the nest or the chrysalid itself? Right. Now, I didn't have Fernando's available for the last turn. Um, I am super tempted to dead eye the nest. 9 to 12. I don't want it to I don't want to keep spawning these in. So let's see if we can one tap it. It's I think it's on what, one HP. You that's on three HP. Okay. So what we could do with one here now is actually go here. Because he needs to reload. But we could fling a grenade over there. I uh, guess a free reload though, right? Yeah, he does. So could I could actually look at the flank shot with him. That would be reasonable. So, because his yeah, his weapon's been disabled. So go here. Free reload. I don't think he can see it. Maybe because of this. Yeah, there's a problem. It's a problem. Free reload. Ninety-one. To just kill that. Okay, hold that train of thought. So we need to yeah, we need to think about this here because now coach we could go in for like a melee attack. I've also got run and gun, so I could move. I could reload and then run and gun. But realistically, what am I going to kill? Don't know. Question mark. So, John, we need to start. How many are left? 11 left. Okay, we've got five enemies on the board. So I wouldn't mind getting John some more vision and maybe um, using Sting on that guy. 84. I can improve that by moving him. What can we see? One, two, three, and this dude. So that guy's got to die as well. So that's really critical that he dies. Now, actually, Coach could do that. We go in for the sword attack on this guy, which is going to give us untouchable, implacable, so it means I don't need to reload. So can you please do that? Now there's another one there, um, which again, we could use Coach to draw its attention because it can't damage me. Now the only issue I've got is that there's also this codex here. So we're going to hold Coach's second turn. I think with John, what is the sting shot like on that? 97 now. Let's just check remote start. No, that's going to kill coach. That's going to do nothing. Right, I think we take sting onto this guy 97 and just finish him and stay concealed. Nice. Okay. Okay, so lock it. This is also in rate. That is so cringe. Okay. So let's run it through. Now Lockett could go here, right? And combat protocol the nest to remove it. I think that's probably semi-sensible. Um, not the chrysalid, the nest. Yeah, just get rid of the nest, and then I've got one flank shot onto the other chrysalid. And that's that gone. So that's super helpful. So one, I think, now we take this. Now I can guarantee it with Hail of Bullets, rather than like run the risk of a 91 missing. Um... So, yeah, you know, I'm a man of culture, so let's get rid of that, guaranteed. 
as I said, it's not the time for messing about. I, it's not necessary because I can reload him next turn and also he can just f fire his guns and stuff. Now, Coach could get this thing's interest instead. Actually pull back, which is an option. Jambo. <clears throat> we can go in for a melee attack, but it will split the Codex. Because I don't think we've got enough DPS to kill it. No. Or we've got teamwork with Locket, but that's not hugely helpful right now. Um, there's nowhere I can really... This would leave him in cover, and it would split, right? Oh. Hear me out. Now, if it splits somewhere that Coach can get to, I could then set up um, the Blade Storm. So, do you know what? Yeah, go on. Let's go for some guaranteed damage on the Codex and see what happens. It's going to split now to two lower parts. That goes in, that that's fine. That's fine. Now coach unfortunately did not receive the benefit of that. So we probably just drop back into full cover here. Three active, six remaining. One, two, three. Well that's four. I'm gonna drop coach back, you know. I'm not going to run the risk. Let's just tuck back in and then we'll reassess. Okay, right, that's that done with anyway. Obviously. Oh, I forgot about that little mechanic. These are not really a problem for us anymore though, given the amount of damage we do, but still it's an issue. Um, these guys are a problem. Coach is in a good spot though. There we go. They're the top. The next group of boys up here. So we've got these guys. They shouldn't be able to shoot, I don't think. We're just going to move, I assume. Shooting would be upsetting. Given that I've not got that many left. You teleport there. Probably takes the flank shot on one. Yeah. It's fine though. The armor is decent. Okay, that's big. Okay, that's bought me some time now. Bla oh, we get blazed on Jumbo. I am a genius. Okay, that was a good move. Correct. Correct, XCOM. Right. Kill some stuff for me, lads. That's going to split. Clone goes... Okay, that's fine. I'm just... He could do with a little bit of damage into some of these lads here. I need to save four and there's ten alive. So I can't go too many turns without certainly killing these guys. Um, can you kill that? That would be really useful. No. Okay, that's, I guess that's fine. Yeah, go on, please. Nice. Good, 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 good. Where are you going? Oh, please. Oh, that's so useful. It means I don't have to double back. Okay. John might be going to um, do something interesting. One's taken a hit. But it's okay. It does have vision, so could just reload here and take a shot. Now, I'm thinking that actually just bring that down. I think that's fair. Or we could use chain shot on him and shoot twice. Um, it takes it to 83, but I think it could bring it down. Uh, we miss the first shot. No. Fuck. Fernando's can't see them either. Oh, it's so bloody horrible. Um, no target previews for Fernandez anywhere. Oh, I should have just taken the 100% on the, the guy. Um, right. We need to reload. Now, ooh. 
teamwork with Lockett. Fernando's has teamwork with one though, right? So if Fernando's can't do shit this turn and that we just accept that, I could grapple. Can't get up there, come on. Do you know I'm gonna give teamwork to one here and then give him another sort of crack at the whip there. Um, let's just guarantee we kill one of these lads. Um, chain shot missed, so let's not compound our mistakes. Bit of a get out of jail free card there, to be honest. John, where's Coach? Coach needs to reload, but I've got run and gun, so I can get right in this thing's face. Um, so reload. Yeah, I can go for like a very up close and personal run and gun here. Um, we get in its face. Um, we're in full cover. We take a 100% shot, which could kill anyway, given if it crits. And Talon rounds. Oh, we fucking execute. Oh, got a 5% chance. Um, okay, this is quite insane. Can I do anything to help any of the other boys? Not really. Could run up there, draw a bit of like pressure. So let's think about that. Really, now if John could get rid of that, I'd appreciate it. So, go on. Or we look at some kind of... These lads are both up there and there. I wonder now I've got sight of them. Can Carl see them? Right, he can now. So next turn... You see, I'm going to tuck Carl here. Because next turn he'd be able to see those boys. And I might be able to grapple over there from that position. So that's good. Jambo must reload. So I'm going to have to reload him. And then we're probably just going to have to run. Lock it. Cannot see. Must reload. But then still cannot see so think about that now what i could do is go just go here and then next turn we can open the door and he can go out and do some things um john 97 to take something off of the map is pretty large to be honest that's good he doesn't reveal because it's a kill. <clears throat> right, now it's just basically playing around these nubs. So if I go here with Coach, remember he's got untouchable because we scored a kill. Jambo, you're just going to have to like, yeah, you just need to get as close as you physically can, mate. Not much else you can do. Um, lock it. Do we just take full cover here or do we play an Overwatch? Now these guys, you can't hit them on Overwatch anyway. So I'm inclined to actually just try and get closer. Let's see what happens next. Okay, we played that pretty well, to be fair. Yeah, you, you don't get overwatch shots against these guys. It's just not possible, unfortunately. Um, come on, then. That's unfortunate. Come on, no, why are you dropping back? Go push forward, be brave. That's good, they're quite hard to hit these. These are, so the dodge is obviously kind of, you know, not a bad result. She should have a better shot, he even, just the, the ponytail, no, miss. They've got very high dodge, these things. Another hit into it would be good. I'm gonna say puts it in kill range, potentially for coach. All right. So, um, still got John on a mad one here. Carl, what have we got? Now, Fernandez can see this one. We could also use... Why can't we use rapid fire? Because we haven't got the ammo. I can hit that and go for a dead eye, maybe. But what I might do with John is see if John can get vision of the other one. Um, so there is another one up here and I wouldn't mind getting vision of it so I'm going to send John actually yeah I'm going to send him up here also we'd give him a flank shot for one and it should it doesn't spot the other where the hell is the other one gone any remote starts that are helpful nearly no okay so that's a hundred percent so we've got that as an option um, so that's okay 
I might then just go for the like Hail Mary dead eye and try and no do you know what we're not going to go for the dead eye I'm going to just go for the sniper rifle shot at a hundred percent dead eyes on cooldown anyway all right fine just hit it and then coach should be able to just clean it up crit as well my nice shot um Jambo needs to get closer to everyone I'm tempted to like I could like double run him up that's another option I think probably the power here sits with our good friend coach probably for a melee because it's a hundred percent six will kill um so just do that oh we've revealed the other one okay nice that's okay as well get absolutely shit on he's there so coach now has untouchable implaceable all the good things so we're going to just run up into this thing's face right jambo running gun is on a cooldown i've got my mimic beacon though so i'm kind of tempted to go i'll see what the shot's like because we could just finish it but i might use the mimic beacon to just tie it up for a turn um locket's now really not well placed at all but can probably just sprint it to the corner um and John also has a 100% shot. I'm tempted here with like what we could do here because it's actually just to... It's overly, overly, overly cautious. But I'm just going to chuck a Mimic out. Um, so just draw this thing's attention. I think it's safe then just to basically like double run everybody towards this thing. Um, just thinking the best place. Yeah. Do you know what, that's a good spot for one. And John could just take his 100% shot. It doesn't do much damage at all. Um, and therefore, is there any risk in revealing him for like no reason when I'm hoping it's going to go for this anyway? Uh, do you know what, yeah, I'm going to reload him because I could I could just like massively overkill this with Banish as well. So just reload. So we'll go for the Mimic. So that's kind of good. We've just bought ourselves some time. Again, there's no point leaving utility on the battlefield necessarily that we're not... Again, if the resistance fighters can soften it up, then it's going to be a super easy kill for someone. Um, and this is going to be a, apart from a little bit of damage onto one, pretty successful. That's good damage. Okay, now they all start hitting it, even though they missed it last turn. Good. Could she finish it? Oh, one HP. So I've got a decision to make here about funneling kills. And I think a Colonel um, Ranger is my next order of business. Didn't get a promotion. All right, fine. Okay, that's really good though. That's really good. Um, no complaints about that mission whatsoever. Took a tiny bit of damage onto one, which is a bit frustrating. Um, but it's not the end of the world. The armor took most of it. Come on. I don't know if I got any promotions at all in that. I don't believe I did. Maybe one. One promotion, I mean, rather than one the character. Okay, Fernandez got one. Humongous. Steady hands. If you did not move last turn, gain plus 10 aim and plus 10 crit. That is wild. Um, and then we've got this. This is the aim thing here. Um, so, yeah. Steady hands. 100%. Now, Carl also gets a, a hail of bullets here. So, we could guarantee a hit with him. I'm going to just hold, hold the thinking on that for now. Um, seven days is not great. Also, a bond... Of level up available here so we could jump them straight into that we've got a lot of good resources here um, yeah the only thing is I've got a lot of resources but buying things I need to remember that buying items um, so for example does require some of these do require corpses <clears throat> um, but there's nothing really that so we could actually take a little did we get any intel for that? No, we didn't. Arsehole. Alright, I'm going to... 
Because it's six days, right? I shouldn't get another mission. If we do... If we do, it's not the end of the world. Because I've got a Templar. And I've got Luxton who could do a job, basically. Um, so yes, get on with the bond. Because it just it gives us a lot of extra benefits. So... And having lost some of my key soldier bonds over the last few episodes, um, you know, we need to do that. Right. Now, we need to think. So supplies are important, but I want to grab the... In I just want to get over 80 intel so I can make contact with Australia because it's instant, remember. And then I can come and grab the supplies in a second. So just give me some intel, please. Stop. Thank you. Right. Straight down here. Make contact. Okay, now I need to just assess what the next thing to do is. Cool, now New Chile next and Volunteer Army. So what this means is there is a chance that Resistance Squad will join the XCON squad on every mission. Okay, that's okay. How much to contact Chile? 160 so that is an issue building a relay here will help but what i'm gonna do just for now i'm gonna grab my supplies because i'm gonna need to stack a shit ton of intel in here before that even is necessary so let's grab some supplies we are getting light on supplies okay fine that's absolutely fine don't care delay my research good for you Okay. Ignore. Right. Need to keep an eye out for the chosen sabotage attempts. We don't have any more time to lose. So, we've got sabotage coming in in 2 days, the bond in 2 days. Now, if I was to build a relay here, it's going to cost me 200 supplies. I'm going to do it though. For the Australian sector. Let's get the relay in there. To reduce the cost of the onward travel. I've got a real like there's only there's nothing in here scary at all. You can actually do this technically by sending in a Reaper like undercover and just doing it. So we could even like now think about sending the B team to do this to really just solve this. Let's have a look. Let's just assess the situation. However, could I send two squads is what I'm basically asking. So Bond training 41 hours. I've got so many people ready. Um, however, as well, our Psy operative is also um, available in 45 hours. So I might just let time tick. Just for a sec. Just for a sec. Let's just put a couple of turns into building this relay. And we'll get the Bond done and we'll get the Psy training done. Bit of Avatar Project Progress, not a problem because we're about to kick it back anyway, which is what that is actually doing. This is good. Good job, everyone. Okay, well done. Jay was wounded. That's unfortunate. All right, another covert. A facility lead would be decent. Again, I can reduce. This feels like sort of um, cheating. Um, I don't really need to do that because I'm going to take a facility out. So is there anything I can do to, like, give me something? Gaining a resistance contact isn't horrific. Um, because how many have I actually got? I've got one more and I need to only travel really to one more. So I don't need to do that. Okay. We're just checking how many. That could have been clutch. Facility lead in New Brazil. Breakthrough research. Not too fast. Uh, recovering alien loot could be good. I can negate. I don't have enough intel to negate the risk of capture or anything though. Improving combat intelligence. Giving somebody plus nine dodge. God, I just want to do something with a really low issue. Um, and I don't even need to send the scientists. So like, whatever. Um, so I can give somebody 9 dodge. So we could send Super Gibbon here. That's really good on rangers, obviously. So let's just send him on that. Is it just... We're just... 
spending some time. That's all we're doing, expending some time. Okay, did the bond training finish or is that still got a bit of time to run? Okay, a little bit of time to run. You prick. Um, right, okay. Neutralizing a field commander, surgical, that'll be a no. Um, only soldiers of rank sergeant or lower are allowed on this. Now this could be an opportunity here. There's a lot of mad shit in this. We could send the B team on this and free up the A team to hit the facility next. So that's not necessarily a horrific sit rep. And even if we went and just didn't even win, we could just go in and just leave. And that's fine. Um, or oh, we got this one here. Recover an item from an advent train. There's a lot of horrible... There's a sector pod in that. There's, is there a sector pod in this? I think it could be B team o'clock. Right? Only soldiers of sergeant or lower. Sergeant or lower. Okay. Let's, like, let's sense check that. Because I have a lot of soldiers. But sergeant or lower. Right. So I could... So, Sergeant or Lower? God, this is going to be... F this, I don't actually think I can even send a squad. Shakes could go. I've just sent Super Given on a Covert. That's cucked me. So, it'd be one, two, three, four, five. I could send all of them. It's a Lieutenant. That's annoying. Jay's wounded. I could bring Jay back to life. Could reanimate him. The soul steel training eight hours. I could send. I could send Cassius on it. <sighs> right. Anyway, we're going to solve this little dilemma um, next next time out. So, thanks for watching episode forty, um, and I'll see you boys on the next one.